people say to me, you know, is there a dress code? Is there a dress code on Sea Dream? And it's a very brave position actually, because coming from some of the other cruise lines that I worked with, you know, it's quite standard that, you know, in your stateroom or your suite, it tells you, doesn't it, what tonight you will wear, or we request that you wear. You I used know, to have to do that as, 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 as a cruise, cruise director. director. Exactly. So I'd have to work exactly. out the dress code for the yeah, cruises. Exactly. Yeah, exactly, and that's fine, and that's fine. Yeah. But there, there, there's a place for that. Um, you know, it's black tie tonight, or it's informal, or it's casual. I've never really known the difference between casual and informal, but <laughs> it's terminology, isn't it? There's a semi-formal now Semi-formal well. now, semi yes, exactly, that's right. <laughs> and of course, the, the problem with that, I think, is of course that some people's interpretation of formal is certainly not other people's yeah, and yeah. anyway that's fine but what we do is we don't have a dress code we don't have a dress code all that we ask all that we ask is you, you don't wear shorts in the dining room but if you think about it if you're dining on deck five because there is a dining room that, that, that we do a, um, a gastronomy night in by the way one night um, but you know what you could wear tailored shorts and a shirt to dinner on sea dream right. because you're dining on deck and it's 25 degrees, you see. And, but of course, because people get that, you don't ever have to say to anybody, I'm sorry, what you're wearing is inappropriate. Mm. So people tend to dress nicely anyway, anyway, if you understand me. But if you were chartering your own private yacht, you see, there probably wouldn't be a dress code. And that's, that's no, the exactly. thinking. You, it's a very, but it's quite, it's quite a, a, an interesting, and difficult things sometimes to communicate to people because mm -hmm. I've been talking to people that have been on other luxury lines that really like the sound of Sea Dream and they say there's no dress code. And that doesn't mean that you turn up in jeans no, with paint exactly. on them. Because, because, but, but as well, because but the fact of the matter is that the people that are going on this, uh, you know, they get people that got a bit of common sense anyway, I'm you sure. Think so, yeah, you know, exactly. You think so. And I've spoken to the maitre d's and hotel managers on board about that and said, have you ever had an issue? And he said, I can honestly say, you know, we've never really had to say to anybody, I'm really sorry, but you can't wear that. Yeah. You know, because you tend to wear chinos and an open neck shirt, or as I say, even tailored shorts. Um, and, and people sense the sense of occasion. You know, there is a, there, there's no captain's cocktail party, because every night the captain has cocktails with you, and, and because of the environment and the kind of outdoor feel that's going on. Mm. But there's a, there's, there's, there is one night where we do, uh, for example, an even more special menu and a gastronomy night and naturally people tend to put a jacket on for that okay. but again no tie because that's the type of product that it is yeah um and it really creates a wonderful informal atmosphere particularly again going back to during the day and you're doing those water sports and you think well you know it's now time for lunch yeah. we go and find a table up on deck and you have this wonderful lunch then you, the, you know ladies take off their wrap and go back in the water and you take off your t-shirt again and that's and it's wonderful. It, re it really is. But to be is. honest, for me, that's that's great because I have to so often wear a tie. You know, a lot of people in a have to wear a tie at exactly. work in a business environment. Yeah. You know, as a cruise director for, for twelve years, you know, shaving twice a day, wearing a tie, yes, even in the middle of the Caribbean. Like, yes, you know? exactly. The middle of the Caribbean, out on deck. I know. I'm there in a shirt and tie. I know. You know, because <laughs> that's the way it is. Because that's the way it is. Yeah, that, exactly. That's what's it's expected, what expected of, you of that the brand. Yeah. How, yeah. So this this it's whole lovely. concept is. I mean, I'll give you an example. I said to my wife first time I took her, which was this August. We were lucky enough to get on. And, um, you know, she said to me, she must have asked me a dozen times uh, daily in the run-up to the cruise, <laughs> okay. are you sure about this dress code thing? I said, <laughs> because, you know, if, to be serious about it, I, could, I said, trust me, you know, you're going to look lovely anyway, darling. You know, <laughs> but you know what I mean? You, what you wear to a dinner party here in the summer or to a party here in the summer mm -hmm. is what you'd wear. And she took summer dresses and she took, couple of wraps and she looked great and that's what people wear I the, the, I mean as formal as I am now is as formal as you need to be but if you wanted to wear a tie for example nobody's gonna say you can't wear a tie because we're informal and it really does work and that creates a great atmosphere on board and and and, and that tends to build during the week because it's only 50 couples yeah so people get to know each other and 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 open seating dining of course that's the other thing so you dine with and with whom and when you like, um, which is lovely. So if there was if there's six of you, you know you you and you wanted to table for six every night, the maitre d would very quickly know that, and they would he would probably hold a table for you. If there's a if you just want to have a table for two one night, that works because dining, for example, is between seven and nine thirty. 
So it's very easy to accommodate 100 people. I mean, it's one Queen's Grill on a Cunard Absolutely, ship. Yeah, yeah. So um, Absolutely. it works, you know. And, um, and tell me about the, 